is the time for action on the pension fund. For decades, uh, folks have talked about the MBTA pensionist problems, but there's really not been been serious action in terms of reform. Uh, if the markets return five or six percent, let's say over the next uh, uh, decade, the MBTA pension will 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 f- will face a multi-billion dollar shortfall. Uh, we put some analysis out two weeks ago, which indicated uh, that taxpayers could be on the hook for as much as $3 billion over the next 18 years for the T-pension unless we reform it. And we don't believe that our riders nor taxpayers should foot that bill. We think this is the time to reform the T-pension with some simple principles, one of which is map the T-pension benefits to state benefits. Give a T employee the same pension that a teacher has or a government worker. That's one principle. Uh, Another principle would be integrating Social Security with the pension. Right now, the MBTA pays a full Social Security as well as a full pension, which is different than the state. The state doesn't pay Social Security. So we think there's some real common sense approaches that could put this pension on a much more sustainable path. And we frankly owe it to our retirees. We owe it to taxpayers and we owe it to our riders to to take the steps now to, to drive serious reform in that pension.